Hello folks, I'm standing down here in the uh, lower part of the garden and I told my friend Karen at work that I would do a video, a uh, quick one, and uh, show how I uh, do trellis. Now it's not fancy, it's not pretty, but it is functional. It costs almost nothing. Uh, if you look up through there, you can see I have I have scrap lumber that was uh, throwed out moldings and stuff and you can see they're all different heights and uh, you can use rope but I use uh, electric fence wire it's uh, fairly reasonable at tractor supply and uh, and uh, some have uh, the top strand and a bottom strand if they're longer poles and the wind hits it I, uh, I like to make uh, two strands to give it a little extra support uh, but I'm going to do a quick demonstration here for my wife's Asian yard long beans and uh, I'll pause it and uh, show you uh, uh, the uh, uh, quick process but I'll pause for now and I'll... okay some of the materials I have are uh, of course a roll of fence wire I don't know if that's in there or not but here let me just see once oops sorry that's a roll of, of fencing wire. It's not real thick, but it's it's better than rope for me. It doesn't stretch. It doesn't in the heat. Uh, it doesn't rot, uh, and you can make it quite tense. The other ingredient I have is some sticks that are about uh, about eight and a half, nine feet tall. Uh, some are old moldings that came out of the mold or didn't weren't uh, weren't quality enough and others are blanks that for whether too thick or too thin didn't make the cut either so uh, I will put the wire up take another picture and give you an idea what happens but now you can do this I, these sticks were uh, were stuff that was going to be thrown away and of course the only investment I have right here is the I have a uh, six foot post in that PVC and a six post a foot post in that PVC. Uh, total of that there is let's see one, two, three, uh, three, uh, four, five posts. I have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five posts. And uh, and uh, in between the posts, I make a loop, uh, just a loop. I'll be back with a picture film in a. Okay, I don't know if we can see there, but I'll magnify it. Here you can see the post. The post is right, well, right here. And what I have is, it just wrapped all the way down uh, a loop around each post and secured through a, let's see if I can get it here, a hole that I have through this here. On the other ones I have it just tightly fixed to a secure location on the post. But these beans get to be over 10 foot tall, and I needed the height, so I used some PVC. Yeah, it bends a little bit, but it uh, it works, and uh, it's not pretty, but it's functional. So now here's what I have done. Now on on this here, let's see if you zoom out. Okay, every other one, and, and the reason I do this is every other one, I I go back. And then I go back and forth. Why? You can, if you got looseness, you can twist it, just twist it in one direction. But what happens out at the end when you do that is that you get uh, a build up like a rubber band turned in a, an airplane. But if you twist back and forth, it's just like a basket weed. This one will go in, and then the next one will go the other way. And as you can see there, I have three here already and back and forth and out, down at the other end you have no 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 twisting uh, if you do it back and forth now you can twist it if your wire becomes a little loose but until you get these in uh, it, uh, you know it usually the bulk of the wood uh, will fill the take up most of that okay I'll, I'll show you it when it's finished I was uh, thinking uh, you can see I I got all my sticks in only took a few minutes with the wire and I was thinking what if uh, you were unable to get wire 
is there something I could do? Well, yeah, just take some of the sticks that are flexible and uh, you find a place where you can weave it in and, and if you, it'll take three rows at uh, minimum. Of course, the wire counts as one and a row and a row, but uh, uh, I didn't, you can see I have wire, a top wire and a bottom wire up. I don't know, I can't see the screen. The sun is nice and bright, but hopefully it's in there. Oh, no, I don't think it is. Well, anyway, I'll have to see if it's there when I edit. But uh, you'll have to have something to bind, and that'll take three three rows at a minimum. And you can make yourself a trellis. And I've seen the old-timers did that, you know. And when we were kids, we made trellises by just going up in the woods and getting brush and sticks. Okay, uh, uh, that concludes uh, the my trellis and the beans and I do my tomatoes the same way I just put post in put wire in the boards are I have them are the wood is a little heavier than these sticks but then I tie my tomatoes to it to get them up off the ground uh, to keep it from blighting thanks for watching and may the Lord bless